Yellow everyone, Yellow here, and we're back with some more Everspace. Because we are forever in space, I just came up with that on the fly, don't judge me, I'm bad at this kind of stuff. You know I'm bad at commentary if you've seen any of my videos, and if you haven't, good on you, don't waste that time of your life, go and do something productive. Uh, we literally just started the video right after the previous one. Since a relay, really new, I do like the time extender. But because of the novelty. Tell you what, whenever I find a new device, I'm going to switch into it, no matter what it is. For this run. For this run. Unless it's absolutely abysmal and we have no use for it. Absolutely at all. Which, I don't know, can't really think of many that would do that. And as much as I like the scattergun, I don't really too much, because that range is abysmal. I do think we'll... Eh. Yeah. We'll stick with it. And nanobots. Convenient. <laughs> What's this? A structure, and it doesn't show as GNB. Could it be somebody else's? Who would build in this place like this? Oh. Perhaps somebody who has missile turrets and Gatling guns around it. Destroyed. What might. Whoop. And we have incoming. And we have drones. Um, I didn't see the drone server. I didn't see the drone server. Ugh. And we are about to have company. Okay, that was really... I really took too long. Um, quick, 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 quick. Uh, and jump out of here now. We're about to have company. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is a great start to the episode, huh? Um... They've noticed us, but we just got out. Um, to clarify, why I'm so afraid of the Okar showing up and not jumping before then, um, your charge up to jump gets slightly pushed back, delayed. Uh, well, the percentage gets pushed back every time you take a hit. So much so that if you're hit by a drone with a beam laser, which hits constantly, you well, have no chance. On? My instruments are acting up. These clouds are made of highly dense and supercharged particles. They are interfering with the sensors. Oh, that's just what I need. Well, what's your fire, mate? So basically, our sensors are non-existent, but we can still see that there are going to be some people attacking. Yep, yeah, outlaws attacking that station over there. You're going a bit fast. A bit over the speed limit there, mate. Let's take them out. Because we need the resources. And the credits, really. Okay. Oh, he's focused on the... F no. We're out of energy. Well, he was focused on the fighter. Oh, what's this? An energized boost. <coughs> Probably more useful in this cloud, actually. Because our sensors don't work almost at all. I suppose 40% boost does increase our vision range a bit. Tell you what, we'll come back to this after we've collected all of the resources around here. It'll be annoying if we lost a vision of them because we got rid of the relay. This is the fun part, I suppose. For me. Well, one of the fun parts for me. Scavenging and collecting and such. Swap, salvage. We are not salvaging our shield generator, thank you very much. That was a close one. Um. <laughs> Go to self, pay attention. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Okay, we have a resource station here. I wonder if they always offer resource stations. You notice there is a bit more room here than just for one station. There is a reason for that. We'll get to it when it comes up. So. We can trade resources for resources, which can be quite useful. But right now we don't have more scrap, well, more ore than scrap, so we don't really need to do that trade. Gas is super useful. Power cells are super useful. 
Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, what else are we needing here? Okay, there is a wreck over there. Hmm. Multiple wrecks. Another one right there. So let's take a look if we can't snag ourselves. Some. I'm really surprised that we can see friendlies. We should not be able to see friendlies. Or anything. That far away. Maybe it's because they agree to transmit their location. It's a random little minefield. I'd expect it to be guarding something, but it's not. Maybe it just fell out of a cruiser. <coughs> not cruiser. Um, fell out of the ships as they were destroyed. Aha! Bingo. You had nothing. Come on, seriously, I searched so hard. I'm so proud of that find. So our, vi our vision range is abysmal in terms of sensors. I mean, we can still see it. Just we can't detect. Um, where is that? Oh, there it is. These are impressively large ships. My fighter can fly into it and maneuver around inside it. So these were big ships. Ah. Bad piloting. Eh, I'll get better. Those must be the air engines. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at a top-down view of the map. Duh. In space there is no top down. There is no top or down. Let's try out an energized boost to get over there because we haven't scattered that sector yet. And boom. We have no shield for a little while, but we can go fast. Head boosts. What does it say? Instantly increases your ship's boost for a sh short amount of time. Shuts down your shield when activated. It's quite neat. It's a really nice trade off. Because it would be really unfair if you could just boost and that was it. Um, let's see. Mm. Anything show up? Anything? No? I am being very risky. choices I'm making it very risky, that is. Because I'm boosting until I have no energy. If somebody jumps in, I'm stuck with very little energy recharge at that point. That's when you stop and wait for it to recharge. Where is our jump point? It's in that direction. Okay, let's go. Because scrounging this place for resources takes ages. <coughs> Yeah, let's go down the bottom path, just for a change. You can choose them, but at this point we don't know if they're dangerous or... Oh wait, is that...? Oh, we have incoming. Um, we do not want an energized boost here, because we'll lose our shields. Boom! That's one of the things that the um, scattergun is really good at. Just boom, take it out at once, because it does a bunch of damage up front. Keep in mind, yeah, this gun does only 97 hull DPS, but every shot does 165 damage. When charged up, it adds more projectiles. So, it might do a ton of damage. Just because it doesn't do a lot of damage per second doesn't mean it can't do a lot of burst damage. Mm. Check for tech containers. You never know. Is that a plasma cloud? Oh gosh, we have incoming. What are they? Okar fighters, Okar fighters. Drone, damn it. We have a drone incoming. Thrown out of the equation, that's good. Boom. 
Boom. We have a beam laser blueprint. We can now craft beam lasers. Out yeah. Independent operators with varying affiliations, profiting from trafficking, extortion, illegal weapons trading, piracy, clone smuggling. Maybe they have something I need. Clone smuggling. Ooh. That's an interesting thought. They help clone smugglers. I'm a clone. Okay, that's all of them marked. Now that little squiggle over there, that's gonna be a fun one to visit. We'll get there when we get there, I suppose. Or if only might. Nice thing about Scattergun, it also registers mul multiple points of impact, uh, multiple impacts from each shot. So really good for mining. This is a former colonial station. Abandoned as a wreck following the war with the Oka. Will I find anything interesting inside? It is a possibility. However, my scanners indicate that some systems are still online, including the security protocols. I knew it. Nothing comes for free. C'est la vie. Now we have... Ignited fuel spurts. We have lasers, which do a ton of damage. But we also have things like this floating around. And yeah, we already have two. Don't need any more right now. Um, let's take a look. This one's closed off. There's still got containers inside, so there must be an entrance. This is bad. That was a turret. Must have been a turret. It had to be a turret. Special tech container. Ah, right. Through the top. But we can see there's a turret right there. Ah. ah! I got pushed around a little bit too much. Well, a little bit more than I bargained for, really. Let's wait for our shield to recharge. Come on. Man, that's slow. You don't realize how slow it is until you actually need it. Now, there's another turret right there. So. These things do a surprising amount of damage. Is that the special container? More credits. Oh, we have a shield breaker missile. But we have small missiles, which are technically better. Wah. Now, we should be able to access here because we need an access key. Well, that's what these things are. Very rare resources. So we can't access that particular one. Uh, did we go through this end? No, I don't think so. Yet. That's surprising. Hey, no, that's a special container. Um, here's the entrance to this one. Ah, more credits. Can never have too many. At this stage of the game, anyway. Wow, anyway. What? But only just started. Eh, where's the jump point? There. Okay, we can do this. Yes, no. No tick potatoes. So we're out of here. That was a lot of pings of being recognized as a hostile. <laughs> um. Timely. Um. Oh, a fuel field. Possibly quite timely as well. What is that? Oh no. It's... it's them. The little green moving cloud. It's a very particular type of drone. 
a scan drone which locks down your senses. Nasty things. Could be worse, but We got money for that. Sweet. It's funny how we get money for getting money. Do they have multiple scan drones? Seriously? Oh, I think the scan drones might increase their range, allowing them to easier, to more easily find me. Ah. Yeah, no, first of all, we've got to take out the actual offensive drones. Then can go for the scan drones, because the offensive drones have the same beam that I do, I think. And it's really, really powerful. Okay, and that Okar fighter doesn't know what happened. Good. I don't think tricording works here. I think it's a bit more of an advanced game than to be tricked by that. For those of you that don't know, tricording is when you move in multiple directions at once, so forward, up, and to the left. So, like, so. You might be, in uh, earlier games, like really old games, you might have been able to get the speed from each direction, so you'd go a lot faster. Not three times faster, but still a significant amount faster. I'm not, I don't think it works yet. It's a bit too advanced of a game <laughs> to uh, be affected by such limitations of technology because before it was just like oh can we be bothered doing that no, just velocity in this direction velocity in that direction velocity in that direction it really was a limitation of technology ah 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 that was really badly done I should have taken out the missiles ah oh, not the missiles the mines far away is that guy? five Okay, shouldn't have seen me yet. I'm quite surprised that I can still see him. I wonder why. Perhaps I have better senses? Or perhaps I can see things that I've already scouted. Maybe. I didn't see that scan drone, or group of drones really. Until I'd gotten close enough to identify them. Felt a bit like Neo until that one shot. Getting only hit twice, that's pretty good. Ooh, crystal. Nice. Hey, come back here. Come on, we really should be able it to find we have stumbled upon an outlaw base. Scavengers and raiders of every degree ply the demilitarized zone using these hidden structures to launch operations. I would advise caution on approach. Maybe it's worth the risk. Where? I can't even see the base. Oh. Turret. Okay then. They really come in ones. There's usually more. Take a look. Where's the rest of this base? Come on. Anybody want to shoot at me? I'm here and I'm juicy. I'm Gucci. You know, whatever floats your boat. Just come out. Um, okay, surprisingly, it's just the one turret. I'm gonna check for crystals. You don't only find crystals on the giant inside giant asteroids, but you also find them on big asteroids, and these these ones are big. So you could have found them there. You could have found them there. No fuel. Surprising and disappointing. Meh. Oh well. Gonna say something about those, those big asteroids. All oh, right, crystals. You can find them not only on, on big asteroids and in big asteroids. Later. My memories are not my own. They are copies 
They originate from someone else. It was at the Fleet Academy. His name was Adam. Adam Rosslyn. Quiet, reserved, awkward around the others. He had a friend, Seth. They shared a dorm. Basic training was tough. Seth looked out for Adam. He stood up for him. The brains and the brawn. They became close like a team. And then the orders came. Deployment for war against the Okar. I've actually had a good, really good story. What was that noise? Alright. A new entry being added. What? There are subtitles, but there's nothing else. But this level of cognizance in a clone is highly unusual. I would like to help you learn more in order to understand how this happened. Let's find some answers. A freighter has asked for repair assistance. A reward has been offered in return for supplying it with the resources it needs. I'm gonna have to go back over the video because I missed part of that conversation. Um, let's get that freighter fixed up right now. We've got we... company. Okay, they just need gas. Sweet, got tons the of that. The required resources have been transferred. You have received credits and as a reward. Car incoming. Uh, I'm gonna do a risky maneuver. Really risky, too risky. Damn it! I didn't see the minefield. And I stopped boosting. Ooh. I think I might take it up on that, take the game up on that offer. Repair. But now the Okar should be engaging the other scouts. Nope, you shouldn't be here. A nano injector. Don't think I'll be needing that, but I could have used it like a moment ago. Shield charge drones. Abysmal creations of the heathens of hell. I don't know why they were so good. I really don't. Okay, let's see if we can get them to go through a minefield. Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna help the outlaws first. Oh wait, where is the Weber drone? Ah, Weber drone, not quite as bad as the scan drone, I think. It can be pretty bad too. Do the sheer amount of shenanigans that it pulls off. That's that's an Okar drone mark too. I'm taking that down. It takes priority. Ah! He's, he, he hit my missiles before they managed to attack him. Oh, that was close. Nice. Okay, we have another fighter incoming. Gosh, this was a little bit of a maelstrom. Um, great fun. Okay, we were really lucky right there. Really lucky. We managed to get two of the most powerful missiles in the game. The Arc 9000s. Devastating weapon will annihilate almost anything within a certain radius. Caution is advised. That's very accurate. This thing is powerful as hell. It does a thousand hull damage, a thousand shield damage. In comparison, small missile. Light missile. Sorry. Hull damage, 100. Shield damage, 40. Just so you understand, my ship has 45, 450 hull and 138 shields, so this missile would take me out in one shot. 
In fact, it's one of the best ways to commit suicide if you really want to in this game. Because... Yeah, missile defense system, no. Ah, actually, yeah, sure. Boost. Ah, nice. Whoa. Gas? You can get gas from these now? Sure. I don't really need shield nice and simple. That's that's something really new, this not rock. Wait, can I only have one? Oh dang. I guess it's good. Okay. Let's launch it somewhere. Um not a GNV because then they'll go hostile. Let's go there. Nope. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's fly around a little bit. Maybe we'll trigger an encounter. And then we can launch it out. But this is a seriously, seriously powerful thing. The missile defense system Mark III, it's a bit too much. I don't know what it is and that freaks me out. Okay, we spent a lot of time here, so we might not have enough time to do much, really. We do want to get the crystals. That's why we're here. Okay. And then we go back. Um, go past this on the way just to make sure that doesn't have any tech containers. I feel like the missile defense system is not something you would ever use because A, you can dodge missiles, B, it takes so much energy. This thing requires 42 energy. Currently our ship has where is energy core? 100 energy. So that'll be... Considering that we have... 14 energy taken out of the equation already, that's about half of our energy, available energy, that we need to use on the missile defense system. Sure, we won't have any problems with missiles for... 30 seconds. But, I can dodge. <coughs> I've gotten good enough to dodge. Now what is this? Oh! Whoa. I guess I was mindful of my surroundings. Yeah, I don't know where I was going. But this is a treasure trove of sorts. <laughs> a huge treasure trove, oh my goodness. So, I need access keys to open these, but these are crate, these are secure containers. Which can have ridiculous amounts of food. They'll have like... Uh, nope, 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 F. Okay, so this has a lot of energy consumption. Just the same as the one we started with, just a lot more energy and a bit better stats and for longer. But I think we're going to salvage that. In fact, so we pick up, well, I'll show off the missile defense system at one point. Oh! Okay. Get over there. Now. Now. Okay, forces, come at me, yo. Yeah, they just got taken out. Like, majorly taken out. That is an ARC 9000. Really powerful. Um, the missile defense system I'll show off later. I was going to show it on the ARC, so I fire the ARC, have it go through, and then shoot down with my own missile defense system.
There is a colonial heavy fighter leaving hyperspace in front of us. Be aware. Okay, thanks for the warning. He has a jump suppressor. This does not bode well. Who would have thought that outlaws make such good informers? But they were right. You're still alive. I'm not sure we've been introduced. What you did was unnecessary. Destroying it all. How could you? After all the efforts we put into our plans, you betrayed me! Listen, I think you have the wrong man. I don't want any trouble. I don't play the fool. I hate to do this, but I can't let you get away with this, Adam. Adam? Wait. I've seen you before. You... Your name is Seth! What do you take me for? You can drop the amnesia act. It's time for you to pay. This Seth guy... I remember him vaguely. We were friends, weren't we? Why did he try to kill me? It should not come as a surprise that most people want to kill you. Only that this one was rather talkative. Talkative? He accused me of something I did and I can't remember. What have I done? Who am I? Let's stay alive long enough to find out what happens next. Also, let's save up enough energy to use the missile defense system. It could be useful in this fight, actually. So, R. Active. Now you just try firing those missiles. Boom. Shot down. Why is he using Okar weaponry? I have no idea what's going on, but hey. Oh, if we can blow up missiles right next to him, they do damage to him because of the splash. Or right next to us, because... Damn you, Adam! This isn't over yet! What? Now that was a curious encounter. And a straight... get straight into this one. Okay, you know what? Stuff you all. <laughs> oh, this is... wow. I yeah. must say, this does change things somewhat. If it knocks into something, it has a big explosion as well. So, interesting. I don't remember what I was talking about before, but this is way more interesting. So now we're fighting Seth. Also, we have jump suppression. He wasn't the only one who suppressed. Who was suppressing our jump? We need to find it and destroy it before we leave the sector, because we can't leave the sector. Annoying little buggery things, but hey. Oh. Well. We'll leave that fueled. Meh. It can't wait for now. I gotta remember that from now on you can find gas in tanks. Ah. That looks like an outlaw outpost. That's probably where the jump suppression is going to happen. And that's an outlaw weapon. We should start with this. Because if we go there last and we don't, we run out of time, and we get caught up by the Okar fleet. It won't end well for us. Okay then. Twenty is closer. You're closer. You're first, I guess. And you start firing now. Oh, the nice thing is that the weapons they have are the same as the weapons you have. So it's not like they get nerfed in that sense. They can get nerfed in terms of their aiming ability. If you choose easy difficulty or something like that. I don't know what difficulty we're on, by the way. Oh, we didn't really get that option. We'll see. Ah, there we go. I was expecting some hard to find me eventually. And there's another one. Luckily we outrange them, so as long as we can identify them, we can shoot them down without even fear of appraisal. And this was not the jumping suppression place. Interesting layout. Ah, there it is. 
the giveaway bluish glow of a jump suppressor. Okay, let's hope this is going to be easy. Nah, let's hope it's going to be fun. You're going first, because I don't like Webbers. Ah. What did I just say? I don't like weapons. Come on. Mark 2. Okay, this thing works for less, not as long. Doesn't shoot him down quite as far. Has a longer cooldown, but it takes less energy. So I'm afraid that we're going to be doing that. Whoa! One heck of a minefield. You're plainly dead. Regardless of whether or not I intervene. Whoa. Kaboom, baby. Not a moment too soon. Whoa. And I'm not risking going after anything else or flying out of the spot that I'm currently in. That was perfectly timed. And I think on that we're going to stop this video. Oh boy. Really fun game. Really enjoying it. Uh, I think I'm also including all my commentary. Mm, we'll see, we'll see. I need to learn how to focus on the task. I.e. talk about one topic. We'll see, we'll see. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, awesome. Keep on watching. If you don't, well, go do something productive with your life. I'm having fun. If you're not having fun, do something that you find fun. And I'll stop babbling here. Thank you very much for watching. Yellow out.